Uh, she's the downtown singer whose career has spanned more than seven decades in music, film and, of course, on stage as well. But Petula Clark says that it's writing new songs that keeps her going and, true to her word, she is back with an album and an international tour. She'll be here on the red sofa in a moment. But first, let's have a listen to one of those new songs. This is Sacrifice My Heart. And with love to keep us warm We can weather any storm Petula Clark is here with us now. Good morning to you. And I know uh, we've just had a quick chat while we were watching that, that uh, you normally don't surf a sport till about 11. That's right, yes. Well... I'm not quite with you yet. You are, well, you, it seems to me you are. We know how you feel. Lovely to see you. Thanks so much Thank for coming you. It's in. great to be here, actually. Um, so I've listened to the album and it's such a kind of mix. Are you going to take them off? Yeah, come on. We'd love Am to I see brave you. enough to take yes, them off? Yes, you are. Oh, oh fantastic. Look at those sparkly eyes. I don't want to frighten the neighbours. You're not. <laughs> Um, it's a real mixture of different sounds, isn't it? What was what was your thinking? This album? Mm. Uh, well, I suppose it is a mixture, but, you know, we went in, we didn't have any sort of pre-ideas about it. We just went in and let, let's just do it. And there are three covers, Fever, um, Blackbird, which I love, yeah. and uh, While You See a Chance. The, everything else is brand new. You know, we, we did a lot of writing. I play piano quite a bit on it. I do all the backup singers singing that I like which I love it's fun yeah uh, you're not really showing any sign of slowing down either because you're going on on tour as well yes you? yes uh, we start the tour at the beginning of October and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I like touring and I've got a great band you know some great songs hopefully a great audience <laughs> <laughs> that's important too um, I'm sure and do you like you really enjoy touring still don't you I do yes well I don't do it that much you know I'm not a workaholic mm. I'm very good at sitting around doing nothing and mm. watching telly and all that stuff but when I when I do work I'm pretty driven that's that's true and it, it, you know there's there's lots of new stuff on the album as well yes, you're, you're, yeah. you're always trying to be contemporary and bringing things bang up to date. When, you, when you're out on tour with it, and obviously you get the immediate reaction to the classics like yes. Downtown, how does the audience respond to some of your newer stuff? I don't know yet. <laughs> In the past, I mean. <laughs> that's, that's part of the fun, you know. I mean, obviously I could go on and just do the old songs, mm. which I love, incidentally. You know, I'll be doing Downtown and Subway and mm. the rest of them because they're still great songs. But for me, it's fun to go on and, and present new material. And they, they're great songs too. And right. I'm, they're new to me, so I'm still a little bit sort of uh, in love with them. You know, right. it's, it's like a love affair, really. Uh, and, and I hope the audience will like them too. I think they will. They certainly like this one. Um, should we have a little look back at downtown? Just, uh -huh. <laughs> Just listen to the music of the traffic in the city. Linger on the sidewalk while the neon signs are pretty. <laughs> they just yeah. have resonance over decades. It's just a really good song, you know, and it, it never seems to mm. age, you know. Mm. I sing it perhaps a little differently now. My musicians are young and so they play it a little bit differently, but it's still just basically a great song. Mm. I've read a fascinating thing about you, which I, I need to know whether this is true or not. Is it, is it correct that when you're on tour, you have a rider that you have to have an ironing board? Absolutely, in, I've in got to have my ironing board and an iron. <laughs> yeah, that helps. <laughs> yes. But you always, you always iron your own stuff. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's th therapeutic for me because before I go on stage, I like to sort of, some people go into a kind of zen thing or, yeah. you know, meditate. I iron. And first of all, I need to iron because I don't want to go on stage with creased clothes. And I feel that if anyone is going to burn a hole in my skirt, it would better be me, you know. I know that feeling. Yes. <laughs> I do know that feeling. Um, tell us about looking after your voice as well, because, you know, listen to the album, it's so pure, still as it always was. Do you really have to look after yourself? Well, I, yes, all singers have to look after themselves. You know, we, we get a cold and it's, you know. <clears throat> Um, but apart from that, I don't do anything. No, I don't. Don't do uh, all that stuff. Yeah. You just iron. I just iron. You just iron. The steam, <laughs> maybe the steam from the iron helps. <laughs> and, and over the years, you've, you, you, know, you look back, you've collaborated with some amazing names in yeah. the industry. Yeah. John Lennon, Michael Jackson, some really up-to-date artists as well. Is there somebody out there you'd still like to work with or you've, you've, you know, you've maybe tapped up over the years but haven't managed to get? Do, do you know, I don't look at it like that. Um, I, I, I'm sure it, it would be fun to work with 
one of the groups, for instance. Mm. But uh, you have to be careful of that too. You know, I, I don't want to jump on a bandwagon, mm. you know. And I try not to listen too much to pop music because I don't want to be too influenced. So when you say, you know, I try to be contemporary, in mm. fact, I don't try to be contemporary. Okay. It just comes out sounding that way. And I'm working with a great team of people, you know, that's important too, you know. Great um, engineer, great producer. You say you, you're not a workaholic, um, but you, I mean, you, wh when will you, do, will you ever retire or writing is that just runs through you? The R word. No, it's a terrible <laughs> word. I didn't really want to use it, but I used it by mistake. <laughs> Go on. Oh, well, of course, one day I'll have to stop, you yeah. know. And, you know, if my voice gives out on me, um, yes. And if people don't want to come and see me, that's a good reason for not doing it anymore. But apart from that, you know, I'm touch wood, I'm in good nick and, yeah. uh, and I enjoy it. You that's know, probably the key, How many isn't people it? have the privilege of doing that, you know, yeah. doing something that you really like, you know, and go on doing it for this long? <laughs> <laughs> Seven decades is incredible. Oh, you, please, oh, no, stop but, saying but that. But it's, it's, it's amazing. Do you, do you ever look back and, and, and think, wow, what a career, or are you still enjoying doing it, like you say? Well, I don't look back very much, actually. I'm not very nostalgic. I mean, this album and the tour is called From Now On, mm. and I really do think, you know, this, this is it. I mean, at this moment, I'm talking mm. to you. I'm not thinking about anything else. This is our moment, us. Oh, it's a nice you one. Know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, this is all we've got, really. Yeah. So, um, I forgot now what I was going to say, but... It's sort of an optimistic note from now on, so you look forward yes, rather exactly, than backwards. Yes, exactly. Hmm. I don't want to put words into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, don't, I don't look back and I don't look forward too much. Right, yeah. okay. Just do it, you know, get on with today. That's a good message. What a positive thank, message. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. <laughs> uh, but Julia Clark's album is called From Now On and her international tour starts at the beginning of October. Enjoy it. That's right. Well, let's find out if Petula's going to need those sunglasses today. Uh, Matt has <laughs> the weather mine. for us.